Oh, we finally are making it to the fifth and final set. Someone did let me know that it's going to be to 15, which is important because it's the final set also because of the, everyone's stamina. That's going to play a major role, but oh, like I've, I've loved this entire season. I've loved this entire match, but I'm just so ready for us to beat Shira Torizawa and go to nationals so bad. I said that with confidence, not because I'm spoiled, but because I have that much confidence in our boys. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu Season 3, Episode 7, titled Obsession. Last episode, we ended off the fourth set with Hinata having a little awesome flashback midair extending, see seeing how his body is an extension of himself that can fight in midair. He was going right, but he used his left to win the final point uh, during the deuce. It was crazy. It was like 29, 26. It was, it was something crazy. I am just loving every aspect of this match everyone's going 120 percent on both sides i'm loving so many members it's hmm, it is actually going down and i have no idea what's going to happen on this episode but we have three left in the season wait seven eight nine and ten four left in the season i can't count i am just so excited for it remember guys if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching make sure to check out that patreon down below if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm do not forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed click that bell so you guys always know when i post and then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius thank you guys that was so much let's hop right on into this um haiku season three episode seven let me just make sure i'm recording and all that you know, I would hate to miss out on some footage. Let's hop right into this. Yep, Kageyama, I forgot, is the one who's feeling it the most because he does, I don't want to say the most work, but he touches the ball the most. He's very athletic out there, you know? So he's been short a couple of times. Kageyama, or uh, Hinata had to cover and Tsukushima had to cover. I understand. Drink of that water, get that rest, boys. <laughs> yeah, he's nervous, even though he shouldn't be, but his heart's racing, he's tunnel visioned, thinking about a lot of stuff, has a lot on his mind. Is that Kyoko? Yep. Always been there, especially for our third year, she's been there from the show. <laughs> good way to make him not not nervous anymore yeah i always love kyoko <laughs> i love the jokes the banter it's a good start it's a great start man it's I was going to say, the stakes feel so high just because it's up to 15. It goes real quick. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, you know that was a heavy spike. Alright, alright, 1-1. One, one. I don't... Oh, nice. That's so good that was out. I don't want to say it's because he's nervous, but... Yeah, safe. That's what it is. It's safer to go to the left. So he would obviously go with the more safe route. <laughs> A lot of people commented because I said uh, that Tendo is more is like Bokuto because he's just, they're both lanky, very energetic. So he's the first one that came to mind. A lot of people commented he's a lot like Ahsoka. He very much is very much in his need to feel entertained want to feel like he's in there want to break people he's so crazy yep i knew because he got that received he's gonna be like okay i like that oh that's swaggy Ooh, and me too I remember when he said that. Wow, that's a throwback. I want to hit some too. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go. He's not just your backup setter. He's multitude. 
That's the thing. Karasuno has that strength of new strategies, crazy techniques, all that stuff. Hell yeah, it must feel great. Yep, 3-1. So he's been a guest monster since he was young. Yeah, he. I could see why people would call him Masoko, but he's been ridiculed since he was a child. He's been at least talked about. So he just wants to feel good. I don't. Hmm. I can't wait to learn more about him. You know. I'm curious as well. Ooh, the Ushijima. Really. Trying to fix his left-handedness. And it is. Interesting. Ah, uh, so that's why. Really. It seemed like the mom and grandma were more influential. Overseas, wow. Wow. The best ace in Japan. <laughs> That's what the ace is supposed to make you feel like. He would make it work. Miracle ace, you know. That's dope. Wanted to be like the stories his dad told. And it cuts to Sugawara with an amazing spike. That was such an interesting little backstory right there. What's up, y'all? Real quick, just to inform you as to why my clothes have changed and I might be a little into the waking up mood is because it's currently the next day, the next morning to be specific. I just woke up. My internet kind of shit itself last night when I was recording this. So I crunchy roll, nothing would work for me. No, it's just the internet in and of itself. So I just want to let you guys know why I might have a different, a little bit more tiredness in the reactions right now for at least a little bit. And then my clothes, obviously. Ooh. Just when I thought we were getting a good lead, getting a little break ahead, Ushijima is bringing it back by his lonesome, his individual strength. You know how it goes. I hate it, but I love it. The 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 set doesn't even have to be perfect. It just has to be decent. I see Nishinoya around the corner. Ushijima is gonna. He's a miracle ace. You rely on him. He's not wrong. You just get more experience, strong guys, weird guys, new guys. Yeah, it's just a plethora. Oh yeah, plethora of experience that will all make you stronger, I agree. That's nice. So he's overseas, right? They divorce. Ooh, <laughs> they don't see him do that at all. He's always emotionless. So they're like, whoa, he's starting to get into it. <laughs> yeah, it's a mixture of a lot of different things that did it, but I'm I'm just happy he's on fire. But you know, ooh, okay, he got it. You know, good competition only breeds good competition. It's only going to make us better, so I'm here for it. Ooh, <laughs> you can see that glimmer of fear when they still got it, sadly, but you can see that Tsukushima's still doing his thing. Yeah, yep, so that's why he went for that back attack, yeah. He's so nasty. He's so nasty, bro. 
Oh my god. <laughs> You're not getting it over. He is the one man wall. <laughs> He's real. <laughs> he is. The way he moves goes up. Bro, yes, that's what I was thinking. Yes. I am so thoroughly impressed with Tsukushima. Oh no, please don't tell me we got an injury. Oh. Glasses leaving is going to hurt a lot, a lot. I was just talking about, oh, he's our singular wall. He's... <laughs> I love that response. Yeah, he's he's so into it now. I love the passion. Especially, it's so much more with him because we saw him from where he started, you know? That's what he needs to hear. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Even Kyoko has that confidence. I love it. <laughs> Fired up the team. Let's go. Sakoi! Oh my god. Look how high that goes. Understandable, even though Kageyama's nasty at dumps. I, I get that. I get that. I really do. That's completely correct as well. His <laughs> own so, one word. Let's go. Oh no. Yeah. He really is a monster, but I'm saying that in the best way, not to make fun of him like they were. He really is a guess monster. That's crazy. <laughs> Ever since he saw that heartbreaking expression on their face, he... He is, I can 100% see he's the Ahsoka of volleyball. That face, eggs, oh, it's that, I love, it's crazy. That's crazy. Another fantastic episode. I was super excited at the beginning about the break that we got in terms of the points getting us that lead, but it only makes sense that Shira Torizawa would bring it right back because they really are a powerhouse school. They are the definition of that. But again, a fantastic episode. I'm loving this match. I'm loving this fifth set, the determination, the passion. Everybody, when they're getting pushed to their limit, getting pushed into a corner, they bring out their all in terms of physical and mental. Oh my, there's so many moments in this where I was just like, jaw dropped, it's crazy. But um, first thing I want to talk about was Kageyama took a back seat or back roll this episode in particular. We let Suga, Sugawara come in, get a little bit more of the spotlight. I love it. I love Sugawara so much. Um, it makes sense. I don't want to say we did worse, obviously, because we brought out a new arsenal of, of weaponry. We were able to get some amazing points thanks to Sugawara with like the synchro hit off Nishi Noya setting, which no one was able to like. You would need to match up your timings with him, which thankfully they were able to do. They've been together for a good period of time. They're, you know, they just have that rapport. So it's like, I just love that we have that in the back pocket. And I love the constant differences between our strengths versus Shira Torizawa like we are just unpredictable we will do fucking whatever and we will make it work somehow yet yeah, they're just like they're the best like they're really good at receiving they're really good at blocking when Nintendo gets into it they're really they have they have the really good A's like and they have this that having Ushijima as that backbone that you can always rely on just makes them from going to like a really good overall team to like an amazing overall team it's just I love the differences in strength there. They're both strong teams, but they're different. They're different in a lot of different ways. I, it's really interesting. 
if you guys could answer me one thing in the comments i'm very curious is it just kids being mean or is it the fact that he liked look making i don't want to say making people upset obviously but breaking their volleyball hearts he loved splitting them in two as a kid is that why people called him a monster like don't play volleyball with us anymore we don't like monsters but i don't think design wise it was anything about him maybe his little bowl cut haircut but there was nothing design wise about him that made him look like a monster so it had to have been personality wise and or just kids being mean just typical bullies like they normally would um i just thought that's kind of fucked up and and for how he grew up being talked about a lot like that it's he's surprisingly turned out like yeah he's kind of sadistic when it, and, and kind of crazy when it comes to playing volleyball but other than that he seems like just like a weird kind of dude you know like a dude like ushijima can have conversations about movies about his dad with you know ushijima's not really into the conversations but he just seems like a, a pretty normal dude surprisingly for how bullied he got as a kid but it's so interesting to me that ushijima wants to be not necessarily like his dad but like the guy that his dad looked up to when his dad was going to shiro torizawa they conquered nationals his ace their ace was literally the best ace in japan and ushijima's on his way he's top five it's just and and they tried to correct his family tried to correct his uh right his left-handedness and his dad was like no let's let's keep that that might make him difference and his difference will be a strength really enjoy that i like that all his dad sticking up um but I think my biggest thing, obviously, was Tsukushima. He's just a literal unstoppable analytical wall. He's And he's so much more passionate about the game right now. Even when he's still trying to put on his fake facade and his brother his brother could tell, Daichi could tell. He's like, he fired Daichi up. If, 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 if Tsukushima's doing this much work, still able to get that upset and pissed off, how is he going to look when I come when he comes back and I'm not doing this? Like, I got to do, like, who, who am I? Like, just like, I love the respect and compassion these teammates have for each other just you know it only motivates me to be a better person like i always say but fantastic episode fantastic fantastic episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like let me know your thoughts down below uh if you guys want early access full length check out that patreon it's always available to you guys don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitter and twitch at dapper darius i will see you guys later peace out dapper squad